At the center of all this outrage is the battle over Confederate monuments. Are they symbols of hate or part of the heritage of Texas? It is a question our Verified team posed on Facebook this week, and well, here's what our David Schechter found out. We've heard a lot this week about Confederate monuments and white supremacy. For some context on what all of this means, let's focus on the story behind just one major monument in Dallas, the one that honors General Robert E. Lee. So here's the question. Is this monument about history or is it about white supremacy? For answers, we'll examine the historical record from around the time the Lee Monument was built and hear from Michael Phillips, an historian at Collin College. He's an expert on the history of race relations in Texas who wants Confederate monuments removed. This is, this is a period of maximum white supremacist politics. The period when Lee statues went up was not right after the Civil War, like you might think, but 70 years after the war in 1936. At that time, blacks in Texas were kept from voting because of poll taxes that many were too poor to pay. Lynching of blacks was still a way of life, and legal segregation was at its peak, shutting blacks out of economic and educational opportunities. And Phillips says there's one more thing you need to know about the time leading up to this period. Dallas is the epicenter of what? The Ku Klux Klan. Dallas is the epicenter of the rebirth of the Ku Klux Klan. It has the largest national chapter. And, and as I said, the man who becomes the national leader of the Klan is a Dallas dentist. Klansmen even got discounts at the State Fair of Texas. Okay, so back to the statue and the year 1936. It's the 100th birthday of Texas and an extravagant celebration is planned at Fair Park and around the city. Part of the centennial was the christening of Lee Park with its statue and a replica of Lee's plantation home. President Franklin Roosevelt was in town for the centennial and he even cut the ribbon. So they're making the Confederacy a central part of Texas history. That's, that's the reason it's going up in that year. When I look at that statue now, should I, how should I think about it? You should think of it as a relic of a time when race relations were their most violent and most oppressive. So is the statue of General Lee about history or is it about white supremacy? Well, based on the time the statue was built, 70 years after the war, the hostile treatment of blacks at that time, and the complete control whites had over society, you have to look at it not as a history of the Civil War, but the history of a more recent time when white supremacy reigned. If you've got something you want verified, send me an email. Phillips is a part of a coalition of more than 100 local historians and professors, clergy and activists. They all agree with his interpretation and want that uh, monument and others removed. You can find all their names on our website at WFAA.com.